Hi guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Tableau Tutorials. In the previous video, we have seen about how to create a simple bar chart and how to convert from one chart to another chart based uh, depending upon the uh, dimensions and methods. Now in this video, I am going to explain about how to create a calculated field in like using the existing components from yeah, using the existing columns from the uh, data set. Now without wasting any time, let's dive into the topic. Okay guys, uh, for this uh, let me show you show you the, the file that I am using. So here the, the file that I was using is office supplies.csv. So what we are having is we are having order date here, region, a representative and then item. So here units are also there and unit price is also there. So what it means is, so the total number of units are 62 and the unit price of one unit is 4.99 dollars. So, uh, so if you want to calculate the total price, so how can you do that is, so the total price of uh, all the items that are, uh, so like if you think it is a selling, uh, like or uh, if you think uh, it is a purchasing, so the total items that is purchased by Richard is six, uh, the total number of units into the unit price of one unit. That means 62 into 4.99 dollars. So once you've done that, then you will be getting the final field. So how can you do that as a separate field? So in order you need, so like how to create a one new column and how to, what we call, how to multiply these units as well as unit price. So for that we are having a new concept known as the calculating field here. So if you click on the empty space that you have in, on the left side, in the measure set, click right click here. Then you will be having the options here like cali uh, create a calculated field or a create parameter or and also you will be having uh, one more option here if you click on the analysis and here you are having a create calculated field here but just uh, for the timing i am clicking right clicking here on the uh, on the measure side and here we have an option known as create calculated field so if i click here so then it is first uh, the tab is nothing but asking for the what is the name that you want to give it so the, i am giving the name as total value or total price so i am giving the name as total price and if you click on the below empty space then here you need to give the whatever the values like the hash values where you want to do some computations so one more thing you need to do is either you can give direct integer integral values or the other thing is you need to give the column names which are having the integer or numeric data as the column data so for this what i want to do is here i want to multiply the units and unit price so for that i am using here if you uh, start typing unit so here it will be showing uh, two values here like uh, what are the hash values that are uh, that are valid for this uh, like for this calculation then it will show all those fields here what i want to do is i want to multiply this units with multiplication star with unit price so the total price is nothing but six uh, units into unit price that means if it is 62 into 4.99 dollars so that is what uh, the calculation and if it is valid then it is going to show the the calculation is valid if it is something like uh, star like uh, ws then it might show the, the calculation contains error because ws is not an integer but if you click some three then again it is a valid uh, one because the 3 is also integer but here I don't want anything anything like that just I want to multiply the units into unit price in order to get the total price so I am clicking ok here so once you once you are done with that then you will be having a like the icon as a hash which is followed by some equal to symbol here that is uh, representing as uh, the calculated field created by us so if you want to represent that with the so i am removing this sum value and then i am placing total price here so if you have a look into it previously if you check it out using the sum so i am removing this and i am placing again the units so if you check here the total the sum of units are maximum for the richard here in the case of east and the maximum for alex in the case of central 
and maximum for the case of uh, James in the case of West. But if I remove this sum and if I place this total price here, so if you observe this, the total number of uh, like uh, the total price is maximum for uh, Matthew in the case of Central. In the case of uh, East, the maximum is for Sushan because after calculating the units into unit price but previously we only calculated the units but we haven't uh, uh, concern about the unit price but now we are calculating the exact value like what is the total what should be the total price so based on that the value the highest value will be matthew and then east uh, in east we are having susan and then uh, in the west uh, it is remains as uh, james as well so this is how you can calculate the calculated field like uh, just by right clicking here and creating calculated field you need, you need to rename it or uh, by default it will be having some name as well and the uh, only thing is if you want to only use the existing hash values uh, like hash value columns then you can use that or else you can also do some multiplications for that particular field using the integral values you can also do that for this uh, calculated field and you can also use that just like uh, we have used the other measures and whatever the calculated field that you have done all those fields will come under the measures to itself so because uh, we are doing we are doing operations based on the numerical data and the result is also a numerical data that is why it will also comes in the numerical values like uh, in the measures as well so this is how you can do like uh, you can create a calculated field as well as how you can represent in the bar charts or some other graphs and one more thing is uh, here we have done something like this and previously we didn't have access for this particular field like side by side now we are having this field also as the enabled version so like that if you do some operations then it will go into show the such type of operations here so this is one more type of operation like side by side bars here like uh, like that so based upon this uh, you will be having all those things so in this video we have seen about calculated field in the coming videos we are coming up with uh, some other things that are having in the tableau uh, okay guys that's all for this video thank you for watching